Looks like there's a bunch to pick from out here, don't Yeah, there? a lot. Stuff all over the place. It's all pretty grown up too, though. <laughs> yeah. Looks like the further you go, the thicker it gets. I think there's over a hundred vehicles just in this spot right here. Oh, wow. Dotson should yeah. be out back here, though. I think it's tucked up behind this old Ford here. I don't know what's going to be our best way of getting it out of here forward or backwards. I said it's pretty grown up, but it's a lot of yeah. just small stuff. Pretty cool old truck, though. Yeah, it is. Still has the hubcaps on this side. Yeah. Seems to be fairly straight, but looks pretty rusty, too. Yeah. The tow hitch. Yeah, I don't know if that's a good thing or not. <laughs> Either hauled it behind something for traveling or, or she the, wasn't running the greatest, yeah. huh? That was my next guess was had the tour everywhere you had to go. Oh man, yeah, it's rusted out on this bedside over here. Pretty bad. Right there oh, where yeah. that split's at. Got stuff growing in the bed. <laughs> That's always a good sign. Yeah. I'm sure we'll have to take these down and I bet this old work rack's gonna hang on just about everything. Probably right. Vines and limbs. Good thing is though, most of everything around it's small, so. Right. Easy to cut down. I mean, they're gonna clear it out anyway, so. Right. I bet these tires will take air. Let's see what it looks like on the back side. Like I said, I don't know if we need to come forward or backwards with it. Right. I want to say maybe backwards might be our best bet. Yeah. It, other than that big old attachment. Right. No, I don't seem that no, heavy. It's movable, so. Yeah, I bet we could just probably trim these little ones right here. Yeah. I don't think we'd have to get that one. Less stuff to hang on the top, like you said, that rack yeah. while it goes. Get it to try to pull out backwards and as long as it, man, hopefully the brakes ain't locked up on it, but <laughs> if it'll steer, it'll kind of drag even if they are. Now getting the trailer back here, that's gonna be a whole nother deal. I'm trying to see what that tag said on it. I can't make out if that's an 80 or a 90. I think we need to make a game plan of getting the truck back here where we can unload some tools. And, and then we're just gonna have to drag it plumb out of here and get the, you know, load it on the trailer out there. Yeah, out there. Because there's no way we'll make that trailer back this far. Yeah. So once again, we stumbled across another good honey hole out here. I mean, there are hundreds of old vehicles that have just been left for dead out here in these woods. Uh, we picked up this old Dotson truck fairly cheap, uh, but it's gonna be a lot of work to get it up out of here. So a lot of these trees are pretty small, so we'll get the chainsaw out, cut them out where we can actually move the truck from where it's sitting. Hopefully these old tires will take some air, but the problem is there's just so much stuff out here. I'm not gonna be able to get my truck and trailer back here. So we're just gonna try to get my truck back here, hook a chain to it, pull it out to where we can get access to the trailer, and then hopefully load it on after that.
looking a little better. Yeah, I don't know. I'll just hook my hook a chain to that with my truck and pull that out of the way. We've got some on the other side we're gonna have to get, but I can probably get them with this post saw for the most part. Okay. I may need your chainsaw. A couple of these are a little bigger. Okay. Uh I think that's about got it. Looks a lot clearer. Yeah. I think we need to try to get this old attachment pulled out of the way now. Right. Maybe move a little bit of these limbs and I'll just drag it wherever we can drag it, I guess. Okay. Then maybe try to shoot some air in them tires. Um, I guess I'll just pull it and then we'll decide. Maybe if we could get it over here in this area or yeah, something. Yeah, just somewhere a little bit. It's just I know that truck's gonna hang it if we don't move right. it. We can just slide it around. I think, yeah, I think it'll slide right over that direction and be completely out of the way there. 
seen it flip up. I was like, oh no, don't let it <laughs> gouge you. Yeah, it was more just stuck. What? Just stuck in the in the grass there. Bury it somewhere back out here for another 40 years. Should work, huh? Yeah, I don't know if I feel mosquitoes on me or ticks. <laughs> About the same size. Uh, I'm gonna grab some air and try to shoot to them tires. Yeah. See if it'll hopefully take some. They look a lot better shaped than most of them we try to air up. Yeah. You know what that means normally though. The better <laughs> they look, the less luck we have. I haven't paid much mind to thinking about snakes being out here, but I know it's that time of the year. Losing most of mine just out the valve stem. Mine ain't doing nothing. No, mine don't have any in it. Don't have no air. <laughs> To blow it up by mouth. Yeah. Well, this one took some. That's the most mine's got. About 20 pounds, it's gonna be gone. Try this one. It ain't got a good end on it, so it leaks out pretty bad. As light as this thing is, even if they don't air up, I think we're fine. I can't get this in the you gotta, Yeah, you gotta press it real hard. Oh, it's just leaking right back out of that anyways. I think it was, wasn't it? Or is it this? Yeah. No, it's this. It's both of them. Yeah, the valve core stems. Valve core is leaking, I mean, it's bent. Uh -huh. I think most of the valve stems are rotted out on them. Yeah. Like I said, the tires are good and the valve stems are bad. Stinks. Got a cap if that'll help you. I don't think so. Mine didn't get enough air in it to help it, so. <laughs> well, mine ain't got a pound in it. Oh, uh, we want to just try to pull it out? Or? I think that's our only option. I mean, we can sit here and try to figure it out, but they're going to go flat doing that a too. A lot so. of it's this junky tank, and then, like I said, I think these valve stems are dry rotted. Well, never fails. The ones that look the best work the worst. That's right. Yep. Make sure the drawers are all open on and even. Well, a big old rat's nest in the inside. I hope the steering wheel don't lock. It don't. Oh, I didn't think about that. 
Yeah, I was gonna hook to this little bumper connection, but it's just real thin, so I went up and found me a good inch and a half bar to hook to. Yeah, that inside's pretty rough. <laughs> I'll just take it slow and uh, if you hit me I'll go another foot and a half and then stop. Yeah. <laughs> closer in a shorter chain I'm afraid shorter chain I'm a, it's pulling it it's gonna pull it into that tree ain't it yeah yeah cuz none of the tires or wheels are moving. let me try to get real close to get past that tree Let me try something. Come back just a little bit more. attacking me. That's about as close as I want to get to, to a tree. We didn't have an inch and a half maybe. No, I knew it looked close. I seen it hang a vine around. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that vine grabbed told me, so you, I'm keeping one of you. <laughs> 
Well, at least that didn't hang on nothing. Right. I guess the fun part now is weaving it through this little path. Well, I, I could tell these two were turning. Oh yeah. I don't know about that side, but the way it's, it's moving, I'm thinking I don't see any drag marks. Right, so. yeah, yeah, they're probably all rolling. All right, well, I guess let's just try to get it on out of here. You ready? A lot easier than I thought it would. Yeah, it didn't hang on near as much as I thought it would, yeah. other than me. <laughs> I think most of these tires are rolling. I know that front one is because the flat spot's on the top now. <laughs> looks a little better out of the yeah. woods, in my opinion. Yeah, it don't look so much uh, projecty. Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> I guess we'll get this chain unhooked and I'll start back in the trailer up here. It'll be loaded backwards, but as light as it is, I don't think that'll give us any issue. Right. Head back to the house. Should turn enough to go on there, huh? Kind of on a hill. I'll see how this thing lets down. Okay.
down my way. ones we've ever winched on here. Yeah. Guess we'll throw some straps on it and head back. All right. Well guys, I think it's safe to say that we can mark this off as another successful Will It Rescue video. Now me and Dad, we're always looking for old honey holes around our area, but we're never really sure of what we're gonna stumble across or what kind of struggles lie ahead once we get out there. When we found this old Dodson, we knew it was something that we just had to bring home with us. Now, she wasn't as grown up as most of the stuff that we normally deal with, but we still had to cut down a few trees just to be able to get her out of her resting spot. Once we got her cut out, we tried to put a little air into the tires, but were completely unsuccessful on that. We decided just to try to drag her on out, which was a challenge in itself with all the thick woods and just stuff laid around everywhere. But at the end of the day, I guess we do have her on the trailer now, and I have to say that I couldn't be happier with her. Now all we got to do is get her back to the shop, dig in a little bit deeper, and decide exactly what kind of direction we want to go with it. We're not sure how much time we want to invest in this girl as far as just getting her back up and running, or possibly if this is something we just want to do a quick sale on for a little extra cash. Either way, we're hot, we're tired, and we're all just ready to get back to the house. So we hope that you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, ring that bell, and we'll see you guys on the next one.